These women pulled out the pots and pans and started making their own. Jasmine Homer reports they're giving the big name brands a run for their money. <laughs> It hit me one day that our skin absorbs everything we put in it. After realising that, I decided to make my own. My friends all teased me because they all thought, wow, called me the witch. They're the Perth Beauty Buffs taking on the big name brands from their own kitchens. All the ingredients are all natural. Kylie Apostolis, Diane Kane and Chantelle van der Hagen say they were fed up with the toxic ingredients in skincare and makeup. So they started making their own. I discovered that there was a lot of chemicals in the household. So that made me start to think about what chemicals were in makeup. Kylie Apostolis is a makeup artist who, like many mums, started thinking a lot more about household chemicals when she had her first child. I then started researching um, if it was at all possible to have a mineral makeup brand that was 100% pure minerals. As I was doing weddings and fashion shoots, I realised that there was a lot of girls with dry lips. Armed with a Pyrex jug and a saucepan, Kylie started experimenting. I had a vision of what I wanted it to smell and feel like and taste like, um, and it took me about 10 goes. This is what she came up with, a natural lip scrub. Something that's cooked up in someone's kitchen is always a little bit of a, a leap of faith. Kira Pegley was the guinea pig. Our kids are about the same age, so they were playing together and she had this delicious smelling scrub on the stove and... Yeah, I got roped into trying it out and I've been a convert ever since. So what I've added in here is the um, shea butter mm -hmm. and canuga wax. Once they've melted, I'll put in the oils, which is macadamia, rice bran and Jehovah. It sounds like something straight from the kitchen cupboard. Yes, well it is. Um, and being all natural, you can eat it off your lips. Now, Kylie has an entire makeup range. Morgan Annie, named after her daughter, and all made from pure minerals. So the more layers you put on, the more coverage you get. It doesn't feel like you're wearing it, and it shouldn't feel like you're wearing anything on your skin. I've got really sensitive skin, so if I put something on that's going to clog my pores, I break out and I, I get quite bad acne. Um, using Kylie's brand, I've discovered that my skin actually feels a bit smoother and I don't get the breakouts that I was getting. You'll notice that your lips won't be so dry, um, your pores won't be clogged. I wanted to create a skincare that was Australian based for Australian skin. When Chantelle van der Hagen started messing around with waxes and oils, she had no idea she would end up changing lives. We've tried it on various other burns survivors and they're getting similar results. Chantelle's products are based on essential oils. To me, the science is already there in nature. And we've already got like the proven history of it. We just haven't always done the trials. Now, whether or not you think aromatherapy is a pile of rubbish, it's worth noting that in France, some doctors actually use essential oils as medicines. It got to a point where, with me, uh, I stopped taking, using stuff. I thought, well, no, nothing really works. For barley bombing survivor Peter Hughes, Chantel's products have been a medicine, the only thing that's worked on his skin. We put the serum on and then you put the melt on and, and um, you just felt like it, your skin oozed into it. So it actually made it a lot softer, and um, especially on the joints. We've reduced his redness and we have helped with the scarring. From a point of view of the grafting, it's hydrated. And by hydrating his skin, it's helping it not contract. And that, for him, is exciting. My first ingredient on all my bottles, is my first ingredient is love. Diane Kane's story really is as much about a mother's love as it is about skin care. When her six-year-old daughter Jessica was diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumour, Diane threw herself into research looking for anything that might save her little girl's life. What she discovered was an astounding number of harmful chemicals in everyday round-the-house products. Hair products, there's a lot of toxic um, chemicals and then we wash our hair and it runs down all over our bodies. Sodium nitrile sulphate, um, not a... You know, it's a car degreaser. Why would we want to use a car degreaser on our uh, bodies? Diane's turned her research into a booming beauty trade. Skincare, hair care and makeup, all free of nasty chemicals.
I make it all here uh, myself. I work um, probably 10 hour days but love every minute of it. Diane, how long have you had the anti-acne range out for? I've had the anti-acne range out for about five years. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got no chemicals in it. We've got no harmful or toxic chemicals and this is what can make the skin red and angry. I'm not claiming that I'll get rid of anything. Um, it just gets rid of that red angriness that a lot of the girls get and the guys get. Uh, we've had some excellent results. She does the heavy duty stuff too. Essence of Youth has been um, it's my little magic potion. Again, it, I don't claim that it'll get rid of your wrinkles, mm -hmm. but it'll certainly soften what you've got. The active ingredients, uh, one of the main ones in here is the new snake venom. Um, snake venom? Yes, snake, yes, yes, yes. And it's actually made with natural components, but it actually just um, softens your wrinkles. And when you smile, it stops the muscle constantly just making like crevices in your eye, around your eyes and in your lips. And so that. similar to Botox in a way, but in a jar. It is. And her best customer, Jessica. Now 26 and doing well. It's been amazing just seeing it come from something so small into now that's something so big and getting it all into the shops and everything. And it's all because of you. You've been the inspiration for all of it. How does that feel? Oh, it's good. You know, it's, I'm glad she got into it. It's letting other people know what's in other skincare products not to use. I would not be sitting here or doing it today if it wasn't for Jess.